This is my house where I had solar panels installed. It faces southeast. To check that the roof could support the panels and the wind loading on them, it was assessed by a structural engineer. It got the green light, so installation can begin. The installation team arrives, and while they await the scaffolding to be completed, they make a start on the electrics. Panels are supported by rails, which attach to the rafters. The fittings are designed to be bolted on with coach bolts, but the structural engineer specified 3.5mm screws instead, to avoid the possibility of splitting the rafters. Let's take a tour. The panels generate DC, which passes through cables under the tiles to an inverter, which converts it to 50 Hz AC. This is routed through an isolator down to the consumer unit. It is often routed externally, but I think cables on outside brickwork are unsightly, so I requested internal trunking. Another isolator the generation meter, and then to a spare connection in the consumer unit. It's just before 7am on an April morning. It becomes bright enough for the system to start generating AC power. The Bluetooth monitor provided with the system shows the power level reaching one third of peak output in the first hour. On a day one week previously, the power remained at around that level all day. But that was because it was cloudy, with no direct sunlight. The system shuts down at sunset. The unbroken sunshine has generated power for a full 12 hours, even late on when the sun was upon the back of the house, not directly onto the panels. <laughs> 